We are here today to support Umar Khalid, student activist who spoke up against the discriminatory citizenship laws, CAA, NRC. He was charged with terrorism and instigation of riots. The only credible evidence that has been presented is that he was exercising his constitutional right to speak and to protest a fundamental prerogative of citizenship in a free society. Khalid was arrested, held without bail for over a year. Despite the insignificance of the charges, Khalid remains under court-ordered constraints for the long duration of trials on what the government claims were riots. From this distance, I'm in no position to evaluate the events and the charges in this particular case, of course. It is, however, one of many that shed a grim light on India's system of justice during a period of repression and often violence that has been visibly undermining free institutions and the free practice of the rights of citizenship. It's part of the large scale government effort to dismantle India's honorable tradition of secular democracy and to impose a Hindu ethnocracy. Rightly, the secular democracy created in India in its recovery from brutal and destructive British rule has been praised as one of the great achievements of the modern age. The recent regression is therefore deeply saddening. We can only hope that the courageous defense of freedom and justice on the part of the many young activists will succeed in reversing this tragic course and pave the way for Indra's return for leadership for a, in the search for a better world, one that honors peace and justice, drawing from India's rich and impressive tradition.